Hi dear students and welcome to the NIOS Home Science Practical number 10 and it is about how to adjust a given meal for a family members depending upon their sex, age and activities. The objectives of the practical are the nutritional values present in every meal and how it can be modified in order to make it balanced. Adjustments that can be done depending upon the individual members of the family and their requirements. As you know, you have been given with two tables in your book labeled as table A and B. Table A contains the general information that includes the members of the family, their age, their sex and the physical activity that they do in their daily life. Including there is a column called as special requirement for a family member depending upon their requirements if there are any. So that table, we, that column needs to be filled and then we will be filling the meal uh, table which is table number B that is the requirement for each and every family members at different times of the day including early morning, breakfast, mid morning, lunch, evening time and finally the dinner. So let me come to the practical area and show you how, what has to be filled in these columns and tables. So dear students, as you can see, we have the table A that contains general information and here the family members have been mentioned such as husband, wife, child, grandfather and adolescent. Age, sex and the physical activity. Heavy work. As you know, the husbands do a lot of heavy work. Either they can go in the office or they will be working as labor. So heavy work is involved. And so that increases the amount of diet in the body. Sedentary work are the normal household chores that a wife has, do, has been doing. Grandfather, as you know, it is an old age, so they won't be going out and working. Some grandfathers are exceptional, obviously. But here, in this case, they are also, as the wife, sedentary work. Heavy work for adolescent, as they have to go to school, do the different types of sports, tuitions, etc. For a child, it's a relaxed work because a child of a four year old has nothing to do except for going to school and doing the homework or being at home and just playing. So, what are the special requirements as per their age, sex and physical activity? Husbands require a lot of amount of proteins including carbohydrates in our rich food so that they can have enough energy to do their daily works. Wife needs more iron and Calcium. Calcium for strong bones and iron rich foods for having increased amount of hemoglobin or blood in the body. Child, a child and an adolescent requires all seven nutrients including lots amount of vitamins and minerals as they are growing. Grandfather, they need carbohydrate for energy plus vitamins and minerals at the same time. Now let us come to part B of the table. In the part B of the table, we have the father, mother, child, adolescent, grandfather, the different times of the day when they can have their food. You can mention it as per what your family members are doing at this time and do. For example, one of our students has done in the morning, early morning, the father needs tea, mother needs tea, the child needs milk. An adolescent usually doesn't take anything and a grandfather needs milk. So on, you can fill in the table depending on what your family members do and if there are any modifications needed like increase amount of food or any changes in that so that you can increase the nutritional values, you can add to it. This is the two tables that you will be ask to fill during your examination. Now is the time to ask the related questions. So dear students, now we'll be talking about the practical part where the related questions have been asked to you. The first question is, what is meal planning? As you know, meal planning means what are the requirements of the different type of family members depending upon their physical activity that is called meal planning to plan out all the meals that you are going to prepare for the individual family members question number two list the various factors the, that affect the meal planning as you know factors such as age sex and activities physical activities these are the three factors that affect the meal planning because everyone has a different age obviously sex 
and different types of activities are forced to do. So depending upon that, the food will be given. <clears throat> in which form can wheat be given to infant and adolescent? Question number three. In which form can wheat be given? When we talk about infants, wheat can be given in the form of a food called as serilac, where the wheat is crushed and mixed with the milk and sugar so that it can have a very good diet for a baby. But when you talk about an adolescent, you can give them oats with milk. You can give them cornflakes or not say cornflakes, let's say wheat cornflakes. Homemade roti or chapati. And you can also provide them with wheat flakes, oats, uh, roti or any other food that is easily commonly available which is made up of wheat and you can also say wheat pasta. So these are the things that is available for an infant or adolescent. You can also add for them crushed oats for the babies also. Because it contains fiber and it is made up of wheat at the same time. These are the possible questions that you will be asked. If you are having any questions to ask, please let me know in the comment box below. Thanks for watching the video.